Okay, guys. We continue with our rusty project. And guess what showed up? Check it out. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Wow, okay, I think they ran out of uh, bigger boxes. You think this was enough? Okay, so we know where these are gonna go. And we got a bolt, which was from Rock Auto. You see the part number there? So this is the old bolt, not factory. It's actually thinner than the one that's supposed to go on there. Let me show you. Look at this. No bueno. Look at this. Still some play, but much loose. I mean, uh, much tighter. And that's even, this bolt is even worse in the knuckle. A lot of play in the knuckle. And this, I actually have to slightly force it into the knuckle. So this is a nice tight fit. All right, let's install these. All right, I'm gonna use the same tool I have used to remove it, but I actually forgot what I used. Well, I mean, I mean, I know I used this tool, but I forgot what ends I have used or adapters. You know what I mean. I did clean out the rust, more or less. But it is, well, it's not bad, bad, but it's, it's not good. And I did lubricate it with PB Blaster or WD-40. Don't lubricate with oil. PB Blaster and, you know, stuff like uh, WD-40 is based on water. That's actually what W stands for in WD-40. And this will evaporate over time. Oil would not. Maybe I don't have to use anything. Just straight in. Just get it started. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I did them on on the Impreza, the ice racing project. I think like half a year ago or whatever it was. But I we had these out, and I did them. I put them in the in the press. It was very easy actually. We need more lubrication. Just a little bit more. Or maybe we're good. We just need to just need to work this out from inside the arm. Or maybe not, just leave it like that. I have found an Adequate adapter. Nice. Just gonna use that. Alright, this is gonna take a while. Do I really need to do this? Ay ay ay. Or should I just forget about it? Or drive it in more so this actually comes out and then drive it back in. Left, that's what I'm gonna do. Still, man, I think it's the rust. You can see this part has been chewed away from here to to about here. And this this is the actual length of the or the width of the you know control arm. And this is much narrower. You can see how this is kind of a missing part, or maybe it's squeezed and this metal is thicker over here okay rubber's out but you know me being being me the inside that metal part is sticking out too far to the right and i just don't like it so what i need to do is where's my other piece oh i actually found the thing that i was using before it was right there this is actually well same so now i have two wish i could fit this oh okay 
that's, that's actually what I have done. Check this out. That works. Perfect. Okay, now the second one. Tornado warning. Well, no tornado yet, but I had a situation. <laughs> one, of, one of my rain barrels was over, overfilling, got clogged, and uh, and I got a little wet. My shoes, my socks are soaked. Anyways, back to the automotive world. Both bushings are in. All right, you already saw me take it apart. I'm just gonna put it all back together with the strut, everything. Basically, I'm gonna show you the result. Well, no tornado yet, but this is done. Now, use a, a jack of some sort, you know, jack it all up, went right through. No issues there. Use grease on the bolt, guys. I just had some grease uh, on the whole bolt, okay? So the grease will stay inside the knuckle and the control arms or the bushings. That's one tip. Then remember this guy, this nut was not knocked in. Somebody forgot about it. Your This can actually, these can come loose. So remember to knock this in into the slot and probably second most most important part is once you're ready to tighten this nut down make sure your suspension is compressed all the way up so you're actually raising the vehicle a little bit and then tighten it because then your bushings will be in, in its in their natural position if you tighten it with this down all the way like it is right now and then when you put the tire back on and you lower the car those bushings will be stretched at all times or twisted at all times and that rule goes for every single bushing make sure always suspension is as if is as if the car was on the ground then tighten whatever you're fixing this is tight again spent a little bit more time to find these washers okay so they they belong so now I guess I can uh, put all the wheels back on. Guys, wheels are back on. Some more weight reduction. This heat shield right above the muffler is a bonus. Still gotta clean that up and uh, check the level. And this is where it was cut. And look at this corrosion. I mean, you know what's gonna happen. As soon as this car gets on the road, there is uh, more weight reduction gonna happen. Because <laughs> I can just, you know, whatever I do on it, stuff falls down. Should I start it? Yeah. Hopefully no tornadoes today for me. I did clean this out. This was covered in oil. It was black. Guys, check this out. 06 Impreza suspension and springs. Much higher. I'd say in the front. Look at this 
four fingers. Four and a half. Uh, no. Four here. Looking. Looking. Looking good. Nice. maybe plastic trim only in the back remember I never you know they didn't really touch the front so there's still quite a bit to take out door skins maybe speakers radio you know probably another 50 pounds so I'm guessing what I took out was maybe 120 pounds maybe 150 and another 50 to to take out Anyways guys, you're gonna see this vehicle during ice racing, which is you know, months, months away, along with our race machine. And you know what? I mean, you've seen the state of this, but I don't care what kind of a Subaru you got, they're all fun to drive. All right guys, see you next time. Smokey.